we are talking about the movie Haunted. Well, its original name isn't Haunted, it's actually a Norwegian film, and that's its English translation. The Norwegian pronunciation I am not going to attempt because I have no idea where to even start with that one, as with all of the people involved here. It would just be me, a video of me, butchering people's names, and nobody wants that. So let's just go to give you go straight to a synopsis. Essentially focuses on this uh, this woman. Uh, she is told that she has inherited a, a kind of old family home from her father, a estranged father who has passed away. And um, you know she's she kind of doesn't really remember much about this house. It was a childhood home, but she goes there and it's kind of in snowy Norway, which looks absolutely beautiful. I have to say. And uh, when she's there, um, she's kind of followed shortly by her kind of her, her boyfriend, her husband. She meets a few kind of different people, uh, the local priest. There's this young girl, for example, who seems to be kind of playing in the, in, you know, the, on the outside for the other people. And uh, it seems that there may be some type of presence within this house. Trying to kind of reach out to this woman and kind of maybe uh, tell her something, can maybe unravel a mystery that involves her childhood. So that's all, all I see in regards to the plot here. Uh, now, although my class is, is a horror film, it really isn't a horror. It's more of a supernatural drama. There are a couple of uh, jump scares here, here and there, and it's a little bit creepy at times. But this is a really light horror film, so uh, you don't be expecting anything too, too scary, too gory or gratuitous. It really isn't like that. It's a very kind of like lightweight horror film. And as such, it becomes somewhat forgettable because there's really not much to this film. Now, th th there's, a, there's actually a couple of plot twists that happen in this movie. One of them, the first one I suppose, is extremely obvious. And you're just waiting for the penny to drop the whole movie. It's really, really obvious about what's kind of going on. Then we have a couple of other kind of like uh, changes in status quo, which are maybe less so. But that first one, is very very easy to kind of see coming. What I would say with this film is, and I always struggle when watching foreign language films, and yes this is a foreign language movie, I sometimes struggle to, to, to really judge the acting because it's hard to kind of see, to realise how people are, 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 you know, they're kind of like, how they're delivering their lines in a realistic manner. But this one, from just the physical acting alone from this main actress, it looked like she was doing a, a really good job. The way she was reacting to things in her kind of, uh, you know her face acting, her kind of her body language, and just the the emotion that when she was given these lines. Even though I was reading subtitles and I couldn't actually understand what she was saying, I still felt she did a really great performance here uh, to really kind of capture uh, this kind of like this woman who is haunted by uh, her past, but and is somewhat disconnected from the people around her. So I thought that was absolutely fantastic acting. I've got to say as well, the cinematography here is great. Like I've mentioned, the uh, Norwegian. Uh, snowy vistas look absolutely beautiful. And we could have get into this house. There's some, there are some kind of quite nice shots in regards to making it kind of look little, look, look spooky and stuff like that. Um, scale wise, there's, a, there's not much in, in regard to special effects and stuff like that. But I feel there are a couple of instances where uh, they, they are used uh, in, in pretty good effect. There are a few cheap jump scares, especially in the first half of this movie. And it gets to the point where thinking, okay, enough of that now. Like I said, this is actually a relatively light uh, movie, so you don't I, don't... I don't think it's one you'd ever watch again. I don't think it's one you'd probably remember. But it's a well-made film, and I, and I certainly feel, if you'd like... Certainly, if you're not particularly, uh, you know, a big horror fan, and you'd like something a little bit more kind of, like, easygoing, then it might be one to watch. Because it's more of a... It reminds me of a kind of a TV special that you'll kind of get at Christmas, especially because it's kind of so snowy here. Um, and so, you know... There you go. I would say it is probably worth watching. It is a well-made film. It's just not particularly memorable. And uh, yeah, a few kind of like cheap jump scares. I'll give it a 6 out of 10. Have you seen it? What did you think of it? Leave me a comment and I shall look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.